Hi, today I want to talk to you about something. Yahoo is starting to really tick me off. Now, I do have a Gmail email address that I had to open to even post videos on YouTube. And I really don't use that email address for much of anything. But I have been using Yahoo for umpteen billion years here. And a lot lately, they have been forcing me to change my password. And I mean all the time. Uh, this is the first time I've even tried to log into Yahoo and like days literally and I get a message and I'm gonna try to get this message in here without everything in here but um, it says we've noticed some unusual activity account activity for your safety we chose a method below to verify that it's really you signing into this account they either want a different email address which I'm not gonna give them or a cell phone number and I don't have a cell phone I do not have a phone at all I have informed these pricks time and time again I don't have a phone they're not getting another email address period and they keep locking me out of my Yahoo account I have had to change my password I don't know how many times in the past month because I keep going through this then I have to wait for like 12 to 24 hours before they'll even let me log in with the new password so what they're trying to do is force me to give them a phone number I am not gonna do that because one I don't even own a cell phone I don't own a phone at all and people are probably going well how do you make phone calls if you don't have a phone I use my laptop okay um, people are going how do you use your laptop how do you get away with not paying for a phone bill if you have to make a phone call very simple there are numerous sites out there that you can use to make a phone call this is what I use instapeoplesearch.com now if you look over here on the page when you open it <clears throat> it says look up that's not what I want I go to call right here and there's a phone you dial the number you want and you hit call and it calls through and you use your speakers to hear with and your microphone to speak with it uses your computer or your laptop to do that so I no, I do not have a phone and I keep telling these Yahoo pricks I don't have a phone and I'm not giving them another damn email address just so they can lock that one or you know try to screw that one up or send me a bunch of crap to that one that I don't want if you are having problems with Yahoo trust me I hate Google as much as I hate Yahoo and one of the reasons I even use Yahoo which they're fixing to lose me permanently was because you could have comments on the Yahoo stories <clears throat> but guess what in their so-called infinite wisdom they decided to stop all comments on the stories our goal and here's what makes it ticks me out this is all about that I don't know inclusive BS crap that everybody Google and Yahoo and all these places are pushing our goal is to create a safe and engaging place for users to connect over interest and passions in order to improve our community experience we are temporarily suspending article commenting are you kidding me 99% of the stories on Yahoo is anti-Trump and pro-Biden. We all see it. I mean, they don't want comments left on the stories because they're anti-Trump. Are you kidding? I'm like, 
you know, Google is bad enough. Google is absolutely destroying free speech. YouTube too. But Yahoo, what the hell are you people doing? I've already opened my Gmail account. I've already transferred all my Yahoo mail to my Gmail. I am seriously thinking about just shutting down my Yahoo account and never using Yahoo again. Because all the problems I keep having with Yahoo. Now I know this is a rant video on Yahoo. Because they are seriously messing up. Google has already taken, what, 75% of their customer base or their users? And then they want to pull something like this. Oh, we're going to lock you out of your account constantly over and over and over again unless you give us another email address we can send our spam crap to and show you our videos of the Joe Biden election that we want you to see because that's basically what I see when I log in four days ago or you know we you have to give us a cell phone where we can send all this spam to your cell phone or we're gonna lock you out even if you change your password by our recommendations we're gonna lock you out if they are having a problem with the user logging in and saying there's an issue with that because some kind of activity it's not on the user it's on them that means they're not protecting usernames and passwords and people are getting a hold of them and trying to use those names and passwords we've seen it before with places like Yahoo where you know they've had security breaches people have lost their usernames or passwords then all of a sudden you were locked out of your account you had to change your password well guess what Yahoo go to hell I don't give a damn anymore you just lost another person period if I have to use Google full-time to get away from this BS and trust me I don't want to I despise Google then that's what I'll do anyway this is a complete Yahoo rant I apologize if you're going through this you know like I am with their them constantly locking my account telling me we have to have a phone I don't know how many times their little pop-up has popped up in the past year Give us a cell phone number. Give us a cell phone number. Give us a cell phone number. I don't have a cell phone. I don't even own a phone. And they're going to lock me out because I am not going to give them a phone number of a phone I don't have. Anyway, that's it. If you're going through this, I apologize. Take Yahoo completely off if you have to. Um, go to Google or wherever you can find to go MSN you know Microsoft I hate Microsoft too but you know right now anything's better than Yahoo anyway I'm fixing to go um, I hope you don't go through this I hope everyone stays safe out there with all this coronavirus junk going around anyway that's it everyone have a good one bye